know, research is a bedrock of innovation. I mean, you look at the world, you look at um, you know all the best uh, universities of the world, all the best scientific institutions of the world. Research has been the bedrock of innovation. Talk about Carnegie Mellon, or talk about MIT or the Harvards or the Stanfords or any any of the world class institutions you look around. You know, unless there is good research and development, there's not much innovation that has come up. But in India, unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of spending billions and billions of dollars on research. In India, primarily, research has been driven by Jugaad, by very, very innovative kind of uh, uh, methods and means. I just saw something which was very fascinating. An analog meter has been converted, you know, by your team here uh, into a digital uh, meter. What This is the water meter I'm talking about. Uh, into a, <laughs> an analog has been converted into a digital meter, which, which I thought was rather cool. I mean, at a very, very low cost, You've converted it in such a way that I don't have to invest more and more money. Indians, we need to figure out our own solutions and our own formulas. What works in the West, what has worked very, very ably in the West, we cannot merely ape it and blindly copy it. That is not going to work for us. Indians need Indian solutions. And if you're solving India's problem, you're solving the one-fifth of world problems. So obviously there will be other countries where this your product will have a lot of value. And some of the work that is being done is truly mind-blowing. I mean, I was just telling Aftab, wherever he is, your, your professor, assistant professor, I think, Aftab, um, you know, what he's doing again, uh, what his team is doing is truly outstanding. You know, I'm a diabetic for the last 17 years. So he showed me something, uh, an app, uh, a tool that he's developed where all you have to do is step on a mat. It's like a weighing scale. It basically captures your weight distribution on, on your feet, how it is distributed on the foot, uh, on the toes versus the, you know, back of the foot, I guess. And how orthopedic heels and soles have to be developed and diabetologists, endocrinologists can use it. He was also showing me your sitting posture and how it affects your body, how it affects your spine, your neck, etc., etc. The ergonomics that go into design. So all of these things which have real world applications are truly going to be game changers. I honestly and humbly believe. And not just these, but um, you know, Anoop was showing me all the cool things that they've done. And then, um, uh, you know, I've met a bunch of your professors, a bunch of your students, all truly, truly path-breaking, mind-blowing stuff. But I, I, I do have one appeal to you guys. I think you'll have to start thinking global. I mean, Indian, of course, providing breakthroughs for India is very cool and there's a large enough market, large enough appetite for all of us. But think, think large, think global, think of solutions for the world, not just for India, because Whatever you are innovating here, whatever you are discovering here, will have a larger global impact. And I'm very confident that some of the things that you are talking about will truly have an unimaginable uh, uh, kind of an impact. In today's world where technology literally connects everybody uh, in the world, I think all it takes is one brilliant outcome, one brilliant breakthrough, and then you're set. So my humble request to all of you is, don't just innovate for India, Innovate for the world, innovate, uh, uh, you know, at a scale that will truly blow away the globe and, you know, will will make them start taking notice of what Indians in India, in Telangana, in Hyderabad, in IIIT, Hyderabad are doing. That's what I would advise.